Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Craft Beer and Crypto. This is not your normal Craft Beer and Crypto. This is a special edition that we've got today. We decided we were going to try to shake it up a little bit, come up with some new ideas. What could we do that would make this more interesting, a little bit fresher? And what is the obvious choice? Let's do an interview. Who better to do an interview than the Crypto Kings? The chiefs of digital media, JKJ Digital Assets. We scoured the world. We looked for who was the best, most interesting person we could possibly bring in, and we found her. <laughs> we have got Teresa Lopez with us today. She is a YouTube queen. Everybody <laughs> knows Teresa. You know, and, and in all seriousness, you know, we, we're looking and we keep talking about, you know, the crypto's for everybody. This is something that we want to be able to continue to educate people on. This is something that we want to continue to help others and open up avenues for other folks to be able to invest and to be able to grow and to be able to come up and change their lives and create generational wealth for their families. And there are room for new, there is room for new investors. There's room for everybody in this game, but you just have to be smart about it, like we always say. So, I'm not, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to get out of the way a little bit here, um, you, which you know is difficult for me to do, but <laughs> I'm going to tile it back a little bit. Teresa, welcome to the palatial JKJ Digital Studios. We've got Javier with us today. Uh, Teresa, I know you own a store. You're, you're, you're a local here in the Ashland, Virginia area. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. All right, so thank you for that introduction. I love it. <laughs> I'm really happy to be here with you guys. Um, I'm really excited to learn all of this because all of this is new for me. And like you say, I own a store. Uh, the name of the store is Los Regios, and I've been living here in Ashland for the past 13 years. And I'm uh, really excited to know all of this and bring this information to my followers and Tilo Noticias e Información. So, yeah. Excellent, cool. excellent. So, Javier, what, what have you been up to lately, man? Okay. Uh, doing the same old thing, you know. You know me. I uh, spend my days usually in Spain somewhere uh, with with my other job, <laughs> reading cryptocurrency and uh, and trying to figure out what's going on in the, in the mm. markets. Right. So, you know, when we talk about cryptocurrency. We say cryptocurrency is for everybody. It's for it's for the people. It's uh, definitely for the unbanked, right? And so when we start talking about following here in the U.S. and we talk, start talking about people that are are new to the U.S. entering the country and trying to make it, trying to gain a foothold and uh, make a living here, uh, there, there's a way forward, right? Mm -hmm. We, I, I think uh, cryptocurrency is one of them. Of course, it has to be done safely. So, uh, you know, Teresa, if you were gonna, if you were going to enter the space, you know nothing of the space right now. I mean, where would you go for information? Do, do you know what? What would be the way forward for you? To be honest with you, a few of my followers asked me about it, and I told them I had no idea how this worked, but I would love to look into it and bring that info for you. Because they were telling me, hey, Teresa, you know, I have some money in. I don't know why, you know, how to invest it. So someone told me about, you know, all the, how do you call it? The crypt crypto cryptocurrency. cryptocurrency. And I was like, ooh. I have no idea. I've been hearing some good things and bad things, so I think that's where I'm here. I want to hear how this works. If we have like this amount of money, first, how do you think? Oh, how much money do I need to have in order to start doing this? Okay, so so lots of great questions there, and and first things first, people may need to understand is you can do this with a cell phone. Okay, you don't need uh, you don't need a computer at home. A lot of it can be done via a cell phone and a just a, a savings account or a checking account somewhere because we're talking about how are you going to get your money uh, ramped or put, loaded into the system, right? So uh, we call it on-ramping and off-ramping. Uh, there's a lot of terminology there. So the first thing I would do with a lot of your uh, your viewers would be, okay, here's a, here's a definition. Here's a, a little dictionary of of terms so that you understand when you're listening or you're reading something in the system because really it's all a bunch of geeks out there writing a bunch of stuff. I mean, sometimes I'll read the stuff and I got to read it two or three times, uh, ZK roll-ups, uh, uh, you name it, all the terminology, uh, consensus method. There are some things that they need to understand when they're buying cryptos uh, if they're going to go out there, research and do their own buying of, of cryptocurrencies. 
we like to keep everybody kind of like corralled a bit. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of fraud. Yes, there right? is. There's a lot of fraud. It's still the wild, wild west. But uh, we like to pull, bring real people in and tell them, okay, this is how much... You, if you're a small investor, you need to invest. You don't want to throw your, your rent check in here. No. So we do. We do throw... We're not a financial uh, advising company, but uh, we like to explain. We like to... And I call it the dumbing it down. Uh, I do the Marine Corps thing. I, I'll explain to you the way I understand it so that uh, you have fewer questions, I would hope. Mm. And then we try to build uh, lesson plans that are kind of the same way. You gotta explain everything thing you need to know. Uh, this is kind of a, a workaround, right? If you were to go join a, a company that's gonna to talk to you about cryptocurrencies, a lot of them will charge you $1,000, $2,000 uh, a year for their newsletters. Same thing with any newsletter that's out there for, for investing money. Uh, who can afford that? You know, when I was ready right. to ask up. you that. I was ready to ask you, is there like a place that offer you, like, you know, you go to a bank and they mm -hmm. offer you, oh, you do have a, you know, a bank account here and blah, blah, blah. Is there places where you go and hire someone to put your money in? Yeah, into your or financial advisors are all over the place to help you out, but it's going to cost you yeah. three, four, depending on what what investment vehicle you go into, they're going to charge you a certain percentage up front and then they're going to charge you, continue to charge you every time they do something with your bank account, right? Or your investment account. So, and I think it, uh, it's always better to know what you're doing. Oh, like now, oh, my, let, me, let me tell you something with my store. Like when I started the store, I didn't have money to pay someone to do uh, anything. Like I have to do it by myself. Right. So I have to learn how to do it. And now when I'm learning, everyone told me, oh, that is great. Because later on, when you have the money to hire someone to do it, you will know what they need to do. Exactly. So I think this is, you know, like yeah. that. And when you know what they need to do, if later on you have the amount of money to pay someone, I don't know. Right? You, and as you, you get going, and as you get going in this, I mean, to, you know, to kind of drop back to what you said about like, you know, what, how much money do you need to have to start? You can take $20. And, and like Javier said, you download, um, again, we've talked on some of our different podcasts about different places that, that we feel fairly comfortable with. Again, not somebody that we're guaranteeing anything. But, you know, there's a couple of places out there, you know, CoinbaseCrypto.com, make it really easy. And you can take that money, like we said, on ramp with it. You get your $20, get your $100, whatever you're going to do, and transfer it from your bank account into their account. And at that point, you can do your research, you can look at podcasts, and you can decide... Do I want to buy Ethereum? Do I want to buy Bitcoin? Do I? And and again, you can have, you know Bitcoin can cost twenty thousand dollars, and if you have twenty dollars, because of, because you can buy fractional pieces of these, so you can buy twenty dollars worth of Bitcoin. You don't have to buy a Bitcoin or a Ethereum. So again, if you've got a few dollars and you want to buy you know one one thousandth of an Ethereum for a dollar and eighty cents, then you can do that. Yeah. And absolutely, and that's and that's how you get started and start to accumulate what you've got going on with crypto is by doing small investments, small pieces, and learn how it works. Because you do once you get into it, there are advantages to moving things around and putting things in different places, and and it it, it quickly can become as complicated as you want it to be. But to keep it simple to start with, the very easy thing is like Javier said, you take a, a small amount of money. Um, and, and again, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. You can take $20 and you could get into the crypto world and figure it out um, and, and do that. Buy one of the more stable, bigger coins, get a little piece of it, and then just move it from one place to another and learn how to navigate that. Learn what it means, you know, learn how do you look at your phone yeah. and see and navigate through the menus of these different sites. Learn what it's like to sit there and, you know, learn the hard lesson like I learned early on. Don't sit there 12 hours a day going, oh, it's up, oh, it's down, oh, it's up, oh, it's down, oh, it's up, I'm selling, oh, oh, it went up more, oh, I just lost money. Don't play that game. You know, it's a, if you go back again, um, you know, and look at some of our, our previous podcasts, some of the ones from early on, we said, this is all about long-term investing. So, yes, so get your $20.00. Figure out, you know, which one of these, uh, which one of these centralized exchanges do you want to get into to learn it and do it. Just jump in. So I know your followers know everything about this because they've been watching you, but mm -hmm. like I'm here, yeah. zero. Mm -hmm. So how can you explain why is crypto? 
currency. Like in the easy, like, just so yeah. I can understand. Hey, this is something that we, I, you say Bitcoin, you, you, you're you mentioning things like, okay, what is that? So, right, so how do you, well, for people who doesn't know anything about it? Yeah, so we'll definitely delve it? into that in, in, in future videos. We want to keep this one kind of tight, but uh, Bitcoin, 2008. Uh, when we had the financial meltdown in 2008, uh, what was it, housing? Uh, oh yeah, the housing bubble burst. The housing and... bubble burst, right? And so we started at that point printing money. And we just it became quantitative easing and, and really we're devaluing our own currency. Uh, Bitcoins, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto. Did I say that right? That's how yeah. Just say uh, it fast. Just say it fast with a smile. <laughs> he, uh, this white paper showed up talking about Bitcoin and how you could get away from the uh, the the inflationary uh, aspect of currency, of fiat currency. We're not just talking about the U.S. dollar. We're talking about currencies around the world, right? Mm -hmm. Fiat the currency. Euros, marks, uh, and so the, basically the, 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 the point of the paper was, hey, we're going to create this, this currency that is going to be run by these nodes, these computers, these miners that are all the way around the planet, and they will be the ones that control uh, how uh, the currency itself, or Bitcoin in and of itself. Uh, there's a ton of information there, but the oh, short, yeah. <laughs> short, the long story short is that one, uh, there was a cap on the amount of Bitcoin that will ever be created, 21 million. And these, uh, every time a transaction is made, this is, we talk about Bitcoin, but what we, what we, a lot of times we don't mention is blockchain, uh, uh, distributed ledger technology, uh, some of these new uh, technological advances that came with, with blockchain and, and, and how a Bitcoin is created, mm -hmm. right? And so why is it? deflationary versus inflationary and what was the max inflation there there's a whole bunch of triggers here so you want to know about cryptocurrencies go to jkjdigitalassets.com and i'm pretty sure i took a lot of the papers that i wrote in oh, english yeah. and there's they're written in spanish as well oh, so you can go in and you can read about it obviously on the internet you can find anything you want to but it, depending on how far down the rabbit hole you want to go understanding crypto technology uh that's what you want to do right so look at our website look at the papers listen to a couple of videos that i have that are there in spanish and english if you're starting off and uh, it'll tell you about it'll we'll discuss hot wallets hard wallets we'll discuss centralized exchanges versus decentralized exchanges uh how to on ramp how to bring money in how to take money out uh we discuss all of that in our papers, and it's there on our website already to answer nice. any so questions you have. So all of that available. Thanks. Yes, and yes. you know, I mean, in the in the the quick thirty second thing here for you, you know, you said what is a Bitcoin? It, it's just a digital place that has value. Is all it is. It's just a digital thing. And when when we first started talking about, and, and we discussed this on some other podcasts at jkjdigitalassets.com. But when, when we first started looking at this, I had a real hard time with going, but it's nothing that I can hold. It, it's nothing that like I can have. Yeah. It's not a tangible thing. And, but, you, you know, the more I read, the more I learned, the more I understood, you know, the only thing you have in your hand when you have a dollar is a piece of paper. Literally, a, it, there's nothing that's worthless except the government says, this is what it's worth. Mm -hmm. And the market says, this is what it's worth. So, so again, so cryptocurrency, um, when we say Bitcoin, when we say Ethereum, in my opinion, those, those are the two, two, two bedrocks of what cryptos are. So you'll hear that you'll hear crypt, you'll hear Bitcoin and Ethereum over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. They're the two big ones. Um, I think we've said in the past, we've equated it to, you know, it's like talking about gold and silver, you know, and then there's all the other monies in the world. Well, it's the same thing in crypto. You've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, and then you've got a million other things out there that you can get into. And an important thing to note, note too is people think, okay, they hear cryptocurrency, they hear you know these tokens, uh, and you hear some garbage out there, uh, Dogecoin, and uh, well, there's all kinds of Shiba Inu, you know, and there's some stuff that has nothing behind it, uh, and then you have. The Ethereum network, so we ETH, the token itself, it's, it's kind of like thinking, if you think of Microsoft, 
basically that's what I when I think about ETH and the Ethereum network I think about Microsoft when I think of uh, Bitcoin I think gold right digital gold because it's a store more of a store of wealth yeah they want it to be cash to work as money which you, you could if you wanted to but right now it seems to be falling into the, the store of wealth more than anything else uh, and those are the things you'll pick up and like and granted we've been into this now for about three years uh, on and off working this uh, but those are things that that you'll start picking up and the more you hear it uh, the more comfortable you become with the term the terminology and getting in and out of this and, and yeah. understanding so so Teresa what do you think some of your um, some of your followers what would some of their concerns be about getting into crypto I think to put some money into it and lose it Sure. What can we do to make sure that, I don't know, we are on the good path? What I need to, you know, to pay attention in when I'm putting money into this? Well, number one, there's no guarantees. It's just, it's, it's life. There's no guarantee in anything. Now, again, there are safer places and there are not safer places. Okay. And just like anything else financial, if you put something in something safe, it's probably going to grow like this. If you put something that might not be safe. It might grow like this. Well, it might fall like this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so you have to be, again, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to read, to watch videos, to do your research. Um, you know, at jkjdigitalassets.com, we're on social media platforms. We've got a Facebook page. We've got a Twitter account. And, and we do. We answer people's questions. If, you know, if people have questions out there about, you know, how do we do this? You know, we don't have a staff of 100 people monitoring all the time, but we get back to people and we will give answers to, to questions. Or if we get the same question 20 times, we'll post something about it so everybody can see it exactly. and address it on, on the podcast. You know, the, the, the funny thing the other day, I was on uh, a month ago, I was on uh, Coin Market Cap, and you can put little comments in there. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of clicked on Adam, you know, Cosmos, uh, and. Uh, and I put down, oh, be careful here. You know, I think uh, they, they, they've, they've done everything that they're possibly going to do on their white paper. They're creating an Adam 2.0. And, and I think that the, the price might go down. And right there, I mean, I wasn't paying attention to it. I looked at my notifications like a week later. Somebody had actual tagged me and said, hey, what makes you think that this is going down? Explain. Mm -hmm. I want to know. And so I directed them over to our website and say, hey, this is why we think it. you might see the price on this drop a bit and uh that was great i mean and that came out of point market caps <laughs> oh. you know through our oh, website yeah. so but so, yeah. so teresa do you have uh, like other questions or like what would be what would be your number one reason not to take twenty dollars and and get into cryptocurrency right now well i think you know uh, even though we're scared if you don't put money you're never gonna make money right you know at first and that's how we learn you know if, like you say, this is as if you have just twenty dollars, you can start with it. You don't mm -hmm. need to wait until you have a thousand dollars to start putting money into this. Right. So it's like when you're practicing, like when you're riding a bike. So start, you know, putting. But sometimes they say, "Oh, I want to win the lottery," but you never buy the ticket. How are you gonna win? Right? Yes. So I, I like think that. you need I like to start like investing and you start. <laughs> start seeing how these work. You know, Absolutely. It's, like, it's a work in progress and it's great that we have you guys to inform us and to share all the information that you guys have and everything that you're going through all these three years, you know, learning about this. So it's like you're making a shortcut for us. So oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. if you, again, if you go to jkjdigitalassets.com, there is a list on there of videos. Uh, it, you know, Javier mentioned the white papers. All a white paper is, is it's just something that's put out to sound fancy. And it's just instructions and information about something. So, that, um, you know, so all of that stuff is there. Um, Teresa, you know, it's been, it's great having you here with us. We appreciate you taking the time. Is there anything else that you want to wrap up with and say to your Say to all your followers out there. Or? No, I'm sure, you know, we will hear more about you guys. And I'm really excited to start learning all of this uh, cryptocurrency so we can bring all of this information into the Spanish community. I know a lot of the Spanish community will love to start, you know, putting money into this. But uh, that will be great if we can inform them of sure. how to, like you say, it's not like, oh, we're going to tell you the, the good, you know, the, 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 what, what is the word like oh 
this is the easy the way easy, to do it, you know, steps. and you're gonna get money from it, but no. you know, it's not That's like right. that, but at least you will be informed. Right. Of how to start going into Yes, this. if anybody looks at you and says, here, do these five things and you'll make a million dollars in crypto, run. <laughs> yeah. Run away. Run. Punch, <laughs> him, punch him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we're trying to take, we're trying to take your money. And our, stuff, our stuff is, our, we, we do this, it's, uh, it's a free. We, yeah. we, we do this because we believe in it and we think that everybody should should have an opportunity. So yeah. All right, well, hey. Thanks for being with us today. We're very excited about this. It's great to get to meet you and, and have a conversation about crypto and stuff. Javier, thanks for all the information today. Um, everybody, again, jkjdigitalassets.com. You can find us on Twitter at jkjdigital. Hit us up on Facebook. Folks, thanks again for taking the time to watch this. And for everybody new that's coming into this digital community with us, thank you for taking your time taking the thought and, and really deciding, is this for me or not? And do it. Sit down and really think about, is this the avenue that you want to go down? Educate yourself, read, watch the videos, figure out how do you want to go down this path. And folks, one last time, thanks for being here. We love doing these videos. It's so much fun. We can't wait to see you next time. And hey, whatever you do, do it well.